corn. We're making lentil soup tonight. Everybody got their ingredients. Who wants to cook alone? If you don't want to cook alone, that's still fine. Come on in, come on in. Everybody, let me put some water here. How everybody's doing tonight? That's what I meant to do, close that door. Come on in, everybody. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. We're getting started tonight. And these are the ingredients that we're using. I placed them up on Facebook. Who all want to join in cooking? Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. How everybody's doing tonight? Tonight is the night that we're gonna make some soup. Yes, baby. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. Tonight, I think you keep doing it over, right? Mm -mm. I think it said what wash powder. Mm -hmm. We got a new producer tonight. Mm -hmm. She just started, so y'all come on in. Tonight we're gonna be using um we're gonna be using Lenten beans. So if you guys went out and got your little products, that's fine. And if you don't wanna cook along with us tonight, you don't have to. And that's still fine. So those are ones that wanna cook along, these are the ingredients that we're using. If you can see me. We're using Lenten beans. We got garlic over here. We have some green pepper. We have a onion. We got our soup, our Maggie soup up, soup mix. We're using our avocado, avocado oil. We have some carrots over here celery, and some green onion. So let's get started. I, that's enough, because I think you did it. It shouldn't take that long mm. to put everybody in. Which one of those beans? That's the same people you oh keep God. putting over. Okay. All right, it's like a lot of people on there. people. I didn't know it was that many. All right, you guys, come on in. While we're coming on in, we're just going to... Get some water boiled, start boiling over here and stuff. Put it down, let me see the comments. All right, sorry I couldn't see y'all. So how everybody doing tonight? We're making Lenten soup tonight. And um, we're gonna get started. So we're gonna use beans. So if you have dry beans, I already prepped me some beans, but if you have dry beans, what you can do Pull the camera on me just a little bit. Y'all can see me? All right. You can have some dry beans. What you want to do, you want to just wash them off real good. Soak them, wash them off, and put them in some boiling water. I already have some cook already and prep, so I don't have to do that. So the ones, who, who on here cooking alone want Red, me to cook say this? Say you. Hmm? Red, say you. I have a new, new, new somebody new here helping me. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna put a little oil in my pan because I'm gonna saute my bell pepper. Everybody that's on here, why don't you tag somebody in? Do a watch party. Tag all the people that's in your contact, and we're gonna do a watch party. So you can go ahead and do that. I'm going ahead and be cutting up my 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 bell peppers, right? I'm going to be cutting up some bell peppers. I'm going to be I'm cutting up my bell peppers. So how everybody's doing tonight? Are you guys staying away from the coronavirus? This soup right here is going to be a soup that's going to help build up your immune system. 
and all that good stuff, right? Right. So we're cutting up some peppers over here, some green peppers. Those of you want to cook along, you can dice and cut up your peppers. If you have a um a blender, you can blend them in there. That's probably what I should have done. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Red, Dalisha. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a little salt in my water. Get that to boil in a little. Right? Okay. So I'm cutting up with some red onion. Red onion is very good for you. It's an anti-inflammatory. It helps fight off cancer cells. Yeah, that's what red onions do. It helps fight off cancer cells and all that good stuff. Hey, Fee, how you doing? Let me turn this down. Okay. So we're just going to cut up our, our onions. I have a half a red onion over here. I'm just chopping it up. And all that good stuff. This right here is going to help boost up your immune system. Right? Right. So these are bell peppers and red onions. I'm just going to put them in there. Let them start to saute. And all that good stuff. Mm. We have parsley over here. We're going to cut up a stock of parsley. And put that in there. Along with some garlic, right? Celery also is good for you. Celery is low in calories. You can't be walking by in here. Celery is very low in calories. And it also helps with your heart rate too. Like help relieve a lot of stress. Open up your blood vessels. So your heart, so your blood can flow. Yeah, that's what celery does. Okay. So we don't got some celery over here. We're going to fry it. We're going to saute that. Let me crank it up just a little bit. All right. We have some garlic. Oh, that smells good already. I'm using about three or four cloves of garlic. I'm going to smash these up. And if you guys want to ask me some questions, you can go right ahead. And all that good stuff. Garlic is good for you, honey. Garlic is good to help lower your blood pressure, too. This is a soup right here that's going to be good for your heart. Right here. Lenten beans. Mm-hmm. So we're going to put like, I put like, I have like four or five pegs of garlic. If you guys on here, go ahead and tag a friend in and start a watch party. Tag a friend in and let them know your auntie is in here cooking some soup. Yeah. This soup is good for a time like this to keep your immune system built up and all this good stuff. And you can make a lot. I'm going to just throw a little bit in here in this water that we got boiling for our beans. Mm-hmm. So we're going to throw our garlic off up in here. How y'all doing tonight? So we're going to throw our garlic off up in here, right? Right. And we have some green onions. We're going to save them for last. Honey, y'all talk to me. See, you doing all right? Everybody's staying safe for the coronavirus and all that good stuff. Eating healthy. This soup right here is going to help with the coronavirus. Help build up your immune system. Right? Right. 
These red onions are good for your digestive system. They rich in antioxidants and they help pre pro um, pre prevent cancer cells. Yeah, them little red onions right there. Mm-hmm. So we're going to let that get all translucent and all that good stuff. We're going to crank that up just like that. And we're going to cut up our carrots. We're going to cut up our carrots and put some carrots in there. Just scrape the little, just scrape the little skin off of the top layer. Right? Right. So that's what we're doing tonight. We're doing soup. Lenten bean soup. Vegetarian style. That's right. We're doing vegetarian style, so I'm going to cut up some carrots. You pretty much want everything diced the same size, right? Help keep your body alkaline. Help your digestive system. Carrots are good in fiber. So we're just going to put those in there and let that soften up. Just like that. Right? Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. You can't be walking up in here like that. Y'all can see me? Okay. So we're just cutting that up just like that. Oh, I forgot the spinach. Oh, and we're going to use spinach, too. Where's the spinach? I put that in the Oh, and we're going to use spinach, too, to put in our soup. Spinach is rich in iron, good for your blood, and all that good stuff. Let me fix my camera, honey, because I keep walking out of it. Mm-hmm. Look at all those beautiful colors that's in here. That's right. Mm-hmm. So you guys don't want to ask me no questions. You can smell that red. Huh? Dalisha, you can smell this. It smells so good. So we're going to add a just a little bit of black pepper. And we're going to add a little bit of salt. So those are the ones that got high blood pressure. You might want to watch your salt intake. And use your season. Use your season, you know, how you like it. Some people like a lot of salt flavors. Some people don't. So you use your salt. You use what's best and beneficial for you, right? All right. Honey, this smelling good up in here. Everybody on here, I need you to tag your friend and do a watch party. Tag your people, they'll do a watch party on your end. Okay. That's what we're doing over here. So we got our package of soup. I got lentil beans that I already had to put together. All right, Auntie ain't going nowhere. I'm right here with y'all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so. I'm going to put my Lenten beans in here in the water. Lenten beans are good for your heart and all that good stuff. So we're going to put a half a bag of Lenten beans in here. Right? Right. And we're going to let that boil out. Let's crank that up, honey. Because it don't take long for Lenten soup. It doesn't take long for this Lenten soup to cook. Right? Right. This is a good meat. Lenten beans is a good meat alternative. You know, it's good. It's good for um, fiber. It gives you iron, potassium, and all that stuff right there. That's good for your heart. And right now, we need this because a lot of people are stressed out over the coronavirus and all that stuff that's going on. So this is a healthy soup. It's going to help. It's going to help you in all different ways. It's going to build your immune system up. And if you have like heart disease and stuff like that, it helps slow down the heart 
disease and stuff. Yeah, this little bit of lentil, this this little this bean right here is very good. It's very nutritious to your body, right? Right. So we just sauteing our. Hello. Oh, I got a call. I thought you put it on. No, not do not disturb. Oh, wait a minute. Child, I got people calling me while I'm on the live and everything. I can't talk right now, honey. We're doing soup tonight. So this right here is gonna protect you from your protect you from a lot of disease, help build up your immune system. And we all need that right now doing um doing this coronavirus, right? Right. So I'ma just clean this little mess up right here. Wash this cutboard off and stuff. Good and iron and all that good stuff. Mmm, look at that. Shall y'all see it? Y'all see that? Uh-oh. Y'all can't see Auntie Candy because Auntie Candy got it cranked up in here. So see all this right here, all this good good we got right here, your bell pepper, onion, garlic right there. We sauteed that so it can give out, it's gonna wake up the flavor. All this right here is going to wake up the flavor for our soup. So we're gonna, just going to throw that in there just like that. Right? Right. So we just throw that in there. We throw that in there. And we're going to let our soup boil up. Let our beans cook. And we're going to let it boil down. All right. We got a Maggie soup mix. We're going to put it in there. This is going to wake up flavor too. It's a veggie one. This is veggie. This is a vegetarian soup right here that I'm cooking. Vegan style. Right? This is vegan style. Let me get something to open it up. Mmm. They can't see me. Y'all see me? Look at me now. Look at me now. Y'all see me. So we just going to cut this down a little bit. We going to throw this Maggie off up in here. Ooh, and I'm going to put a little scotch bun and pepper in there because that's always wake it up and give it a little flavor. So we're going to put our little Maggie soup in there. We're going to turn it down just a little bit, right? Right. Ooh, look at there, honey. If you was in here, you could smell this right here, this sweet aroma that's got it going on up in here. So what we're going to do now, we're going to put our Maggie in our soup, right? This is optional. I'm going to put a pepper in there because I like mine to have a little spice and a little flavor. So I'm going to put this in there. Let me get a knife. This wakes up, this little pepper right here, a scotch bunny pepper, this wakes up the flavor in it. I'm just going to pop it over just a little bit, honey. This soup tonight, this is good for to build up your immune system, right? Got a lot of fiber, potassium, all that good stuff. Lenten beans is good for your heart. And we need that in this stressful time, you know, good for heart disease. We're eating to live, not living to eat, right? I used to live to eat, honey. I used to wake up and say, ooh, honey, what I can eat today? Now, now I'm, um, I used to, now I'm living to eat. I used to eat to live. I used to wake up and just say, ooh, I'm finna eat this and eat that. I can't do that no more. Once I find that the food that I'm eating, how it gives my body a good nutritious value, so now I'm living I'm eating to live. The food that we eat, it can keep us alive. It can survive. We can survive. And you can, you can correct any disease in your body by eating. Eating to live. Not living to eat whatever you want to eat. Okay? So that's why this Lenten soup is good. 
It's good for your heart. It's good for your body. It, um, it's a good meat substitute. It's giving you your proteins. It's giving you fiber. It giving you, you're not losing nothing. The carrots in here give you your calcium. Give you all the things that your body needs, huh? Hmm, how could you go wrong with that? All right. So I kept the little, um, I kept my leaves on here. From the celery, I'm gonna cut them up and put it in there because this these leaves have a lot of flavor too. I don't throw anything away, and we're gonna put this um this green onion in here to help give it give it a little more flavor, right? Right. All right. This is immune boosting um coronavirus fighting soup, Lenten soup right here, full of flavor. And all that good stuff, right? All right. So if you guys want to ask me anything, go right ahead. Hey, Lindsay. Hey, Hillary. Hey, everybody. Tell me where you from. Hey, James. My cousin in here from Buffalo, New York in the house. How you doing? All right, honey. And this is a fat burning too. Lenten beans don't have that much. Don't don't have calories. It um it helps burn off fat. It's you know it's a good protein, right? You are getting a good protein. So I put that in there. We're gonna let that cook down. We're gonna let that cook down. And lentils don't take that long to cook at all, honey. It sure don't. They don't take that long. It's a little small bean. And it doesn't take that long to cook. We're going to just let that cook out. And if y'all want to ask me anything, you can. Hey, Karen. How you doing? Hey, Ori. I miss you, Ori. Honey, we're making some, uh, we're making Lenten bean soup over here. Honey, you, you need this right here. And then you can make a big pot. Depends on how big your family is. You can store some, some of the people that's on my weight loss challenge, this soup right here, you can store it. Store a couple of bottles of it. You can put it in a mason jar and you can eat it throughout the week. You know, or put it on there when you want something, a little fast snack or something like that. This is good, good, this is good, good right here. It sure is. All right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some spinach in here. Let me open it up and wash it off. Even though they say they wash it at the store, I didn't see them wash it. So, honey, I'm going to wash it myself. So, give her until a minute. Let her wash this off. And y'all can go ahead and talk amongst yourself. And this, that, and the other, honey. But oh, this is some good, good. Did you have me a, um, a, um, put some spinach in there? And this spinach is good for your iron. Honey, this a good soup right here. This is for this good for your body. Yes, honey. Okay, we don't talk. We don't wash our spinach. We're gonna put spinach in here. Spinach is good for your iron, help build up your blood, and all that good stuff. Right, right. So we're gonna put this in here. We're gonna put our spinach in there, right? Okay. We're gonna put a little avocado oil. Avocado oil is good. This is good for your heart. Is you you need healthy fats in your heart? This is a you gotta keep your fat in there, but this is a healthy fat, right? We putting all nothing but good good up in here, baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I put like a um quarter of a teaspoon of oil in there. I put my spinach in there. You want to put your spinach in there kind of last because you know spinach is going to wither up and it's going to um you know spinach is going to draw up. Let me put some more in there honey. Because I want a little bit more. Let me put a little bit more spinach up in here. Just a whole bag. I'm going to wash some off. This, this Lenten right here is good. Good for your heart. 
help reduce heart attack, help reduce stress, related illness. Yeah, Google it. Google it. You don't have to take auntie word for it. Google it. Always further your education into whatever I'm saying, honey. Google it. All right, we're going to let that cook down for a little five or ten more minutes. And what I'm going to put in here next is going to be optional. What y'all saying over here? You think about quitting, quitting meat, baby? Um, Go for it. It's much, meat is, I mean, take your time. Gradually go into it. Don't never rush into anything. And then you got to know your why. Why do you want to stop eating meat? I stopped eating meat because of health concern. Meat has a lot of bacteria. Meat causes a lot of cancer and a lot of things. But you got to know your why, why you want to stop eating. And why you want to stop eating. When I stopped eating meat, honey, I felt so good. I started looking good and everything, honey. People used to say, oh, mm, what's your secret? What you doing? Hmm. Auntie Ken, I'm showing you now. I switched my diet. I start eating. I start eating to live. That's what I start doing. And all this food is good for our body. Whatever you put in your body, baby, it comes out. It shows on the outside. Right? Right. So who else want to ask me a question? All right. All right. Yeah, you got to eat to live, sweetie. Whatever you put on the inside, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out. Right? Right. So um, that's about done right now. We're going to bubble it up. That's about done. I'm going to drop a little more black pepper. Oh, no. I want to put a little twist on this. Auntie Candy going to put some coconut milk. This is optional. If you want to put coconut milk in it, you can. If not, I like the coconut milk in it because it gives it a creamy texture. It gives it a lovely taste. So I have a little coconut milk right here. I'm going to put like a maybe... Um, a half a cup of it in there. Y'all might be saying, ugh, coconut milk, but you got to try it. It's good. It's delicious. So I'm going to let that cook down for a little two or three, three, three more minutes. I'm going to get my, um, I'm going to get my bowl out and honey, voila. This is finished right here. This is Lenten soup. Yeah. Auntie Candy style. This is Auntie Candy style. Lenten, Lenten soup. So we're going to let that cook down like another two or three more minutes. I should have been put it in and added in there. But it gives it a good flavor. Hey, Peaches, how you doing? Yeah, everything is good as long as you eat it in moderation. It sure is. You know, I'm not going to stop nobody from eating it. It is good in all moderation. It sure is, Karen. And stuff. But I choose not to eat it because I find it makes me more healthier. Everybody got to, you know, you got to follow your body. Some people can't go without eating meat. Some people will literally get sick if they stop eating meat. So you got to find your why and you got to know if it's good for you. You know, I'm not a doctor, no, I pretend to be one. But you got to find what is good for your body. What might be good for my body might not be good for your body. So you got to play around with it and know, and to know what what is what. What is good for your body and what is not good for your body. Right? Right. That's right. All right. So we're going to, um, let me see, this soup should be about ready. We're going to dip some out, honey. Yes. Yes, we're going to let that cook. Now, oh, it's so nice and hot. I might not be able to taste this, honey. It might be too hot. It might be too hot for me to taste. Yeah. So that's what we have. We have some Lenten soup here with spinach, carrots, red onions, and all that stuff right here, this is good for a time like this, honey. You got to keep something warm in your body, in your system, to, to keep your body and your immune system built up, honey. We got to fight this um, 
whatever they talking about, the pandemic or everything, and this, that, and the other, you got to eat. You got to eat healthy. You got to keep that body alkaline because once that body is alkaline, no disease cannot live in your body, honey. You can cure any disease by eating the right food, honey. Trust me. You can. So this is finished here. Auntie Candy going to... Ah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's hot. I forgot to turn the stove off, honey. I almost cussed just now. It won't be the first time y'all done heard, <laughs> heard somebody cuss, huh? But this is hot. Let me run some water on it and cool this off, honey. So we're going to turn this off right here, and we're going to dip out some soup. Could y'all see in the pot? This is Lenten soup, y'all. I think I thinned it out too much. You can have as thick or thin as you like. I thinned it out a little bit too much because I've added that the coconut milk in there. But the coconut milk, you got to try that. That gives it a good flavor. Coconut milk is natural. It comes from a coconut. How natural could you be? Could you go? We have our celery in there. And we have spinach in here. Honey, this is a wicked soup right here, honey. This is nothing but... And the beans going to give you your proteins. You know? You got protein. You got calcium in, calcium in here. Honey, look at that. There go your Lenten soup. Your immune boosting. Corona fighting. Um, Lenten soup, Auntie Candy style. Y'all see that? All right, we're gonna give it a taste, honey. It might be too, too hot, but we're gonna give it a taste, and we're gonna taste it. Mm-hmm. Y'all see that? I need another plate. Y'all hold on, cause it's too hot. Y'all hold on, Auntie gotta get a plate, cause I can't. Auntie can't hold that in her hand, honey. That's too hot. All right. There you go. We got Lenten soup. Honey, you know I'm gonna share with y'all. This is the time for that. It's raining. We got garlic. We got um spinach. We have carrots in here. And we have Lenten beans. This is a vegetarian soup auntie style honey look at that here y'all have some have some lenten soup there you go have some yeah hey Tug, how you doing yeah yeah honey i'm gonna taste it now it should be delicious i put that cock soup in there let me cool it off i'm gonna tell y'all how it tastes mm-hmm Honey, you can come over anytime and get you a plate. You're welcome to it. Ooh, honey, there you go. Mmm, this is good. And for the ladies that are on my weight loss challenge, you can you can bag this up. You don't have to eat this whole pot. You can dish some out and make little small portion. You can make little small portions and um, honey, let me give it one more taste because it's so good. Mm. But there you go. You got spinach. You got Lenten in there. And Lenten is good for your heart. This helps build your immune system. And this, then, and the other. You can, you can eat this three or four times out the week. It's not going to do any harm to your body. All it's going to do is build up your heart. You know, help fight heart disease and all that good stuff, honey. And right now... You know, a lot of people, we stressed out, right? Right. So this is a good, relaxing, calming soup. You can eat it. So um, thank you guys for watching. What's she saying? Y'all can come over. I posted it on Facebook, like, from yesterday, what I was going to cook. And I'm going to try to come on here. Not, I can't do it every day, baby, because this stuff is weird. 
Auntie, this, this stuff is getting to Auntie. Auntie is not all that computer knowledge. I got a YouTube page set up. Go to my YouTube page, Auntie Candy Vegan Creation. That's Candy with an I, C A N D I, Vegan Creation. Okay? Auntie Candy. Auntie is spelled A U N T I E. Okay? So go to my YouTube channel. So I'm doing YouTube videos and then I'm trying, I got a weight loss challenge going on shout out to my girls who's doing so good girls and guys who on the weight loss challenge who's committed to doing their thing y'all just keep up the good work keep drinking your gallon of water okay and um keep telling your testimony or how this thing has really changed you i started out doing a seven day vegan challenge and then i said you know what let me do a 30 day weight loss challenge and honey i'm getting a lot of positive results a lot of positive um influence and a lot of things honey so I thank you, everybody, for supporting me. I thank you for um, watching my videos, sharing the video, go in and tag a friend, do a watch party and tag a friend and all that good stuff. Because, honey, we got to take care of ourselves. You know, I'm not a doctor or anything, but eating right will help you build up your immune system it will help you fight off any diseases and all those good things and we got to stay away from that milk cheese and egg auntie candy gonna come on on here and i'm gonna show you guys how to make milk from almond milk how to make cheese from a carrot yeah that's what i said from a carrot i'm gonna show you guys a lot of things i have but auntie candy gotta take her time so next thursday i'm gonna try to come on here live and do cooking with auntie candy so if you guys want to cook along i'm going to set up the ingredients the day before and if you want to cook along you can if not you can look at the video over and over again and try some of these recipes right right all right so thank you my family and friends from around the world and around the way all the way from jamaica haiti dominican republic bahamas New York, California, Indiana, Indianapolis. Thank you guys from around the world and around the way. Auntie Candy, love you. Mm. Take care and thank you for watching. And don't forget to go to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and I love you. Good night.